talking about the journal right and while discussing this topic we first of all understood the meaning of the journal right wherein i have told you that journal is a book in which all the transactions of a business are recorded in the chronological order and this is since it record all the transaction at first place every transactions are originally entered in this book for, for the first time so therefore it is also called book of original entry there are few features of the journal just uh, 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 like that it, it it is a it record the day to day trans transaction it covers both the aspect the process of recording the transaction is called journalizing and the way we record it is called journal entry right it provides the complete details of a transaction everything and then we did few questions based on the journal uh if i'm not wrong i think we did question number yeah we did this question and apart from this i think we also completed this question and i think i gave you this question for your homework right just tell me if anyone is able to complete this question sir i'm able to do only half only half of the question okay anyone yeah, else not, not even half less than that all right no problem baby but it's perfectly fine no problem we'll complete this question right now but just let, let me just confirm with the other students zainab labi or zainab vanisha and ritika please tell me whether you guys were able to complete the this question or not no sir all right no issues all right everyone so let's start with the with this question or uh, dealing the transaction one by one so in this question we need to journalize all the transaction right so first thing in the question is that purchase goods of list price of 20000 from vishal at 20% discount against check payment right see but in order to pass the journal entry we need to understand we, we need to first of all understand the effect of any transaction how any transaction will affect the business right unless and until you know how any transaction is affecting the business you won't be able to pass the journal entry okay so let me show you how it is affecting the business just a moment <clears throat> okay so first of all purchase goods of list price 20000 from vishal at a 20% trade discount against check so first of all since we are purchasing goods right since we are purchasing goods so purchase is what i have already told you that purchase is a kind of expense right when we purchase goods when we purchase goods our expenses will increase yes or no yes. our expenses will increase yes or no yes and at the same time we are paying for the goods from the bank right we have paid it through check right we have paid through check right but we we have also get a discount of 20% see trade discount 20% we have got a trade discount of 20% there is no effect there is no entry for the trade discount right trade discount does not affect the business however since we are making the payment by way of check check payment will affect the bank balance it is going to affect the bank balance so firstly since bank is reducing and expenses are increasing in this transaction bank is reducing and expenses are increasing so what about discount how discount is affecting the business discount see discount affect the business but trade discount does not affect the business trade discount there is no effect of trade discount upon the business so there will be no treatment of the trade discount all right so let me pass the general entry first of all we'll write down since the bank is reducing right everybody bank is reducing and bank is what bank is an asset everybody right is that clear to you bank is an asset and because bank is an asset and bank is reducing 
the rule of the asset says whenever asset reduces what do we do we have to correct we have to credit the asset account and in this question asset is the bank so we need to bank credit the bank account and expenses rule of expense says whenever asset in sorry expenses increases we should debit the expense account right so following this rule we will be passing the journal entry as purchase account debit to to bank account this will be the general entry purchase account debit to bank account now tell me the value that i sh i should write what value i should enter so we have good purchase goods of 20000 from vishal at a 20% trade discount right so 20% of 20000 is how much 20% of 20000 is how much 4000 so that means we have got, bought a good of 20000 at a 4000 discount right everyone is we got a the goods at 4000 discount that means we must have paid 16000 out of the bank so bank account will be credited by 16000 And at the same time, purchase account will also increase by sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand debited, sixteen thousand credited. Got it? Is this clear, everybody? We will now write down the relation as well. Being goods purchased. Right. Discount of twenty percent. This is the treatment of the first transaction. Tell me, everybody, is this clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Good. Now moving on to the second second transaction. See, it says purchase of goods. Just a minute. Let me give, just give me a moment. Let me just adjust. Yes. Yeah, so, second question says that purchase goods of list price twenty thousand from Naman at fifteen percent trade discount against cash. So, this this transaction is pretty similar to the previous one, right? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Is it the similar transaction? Yes, sir. So in this transaction, see, let me explain you how this transaction will affect the business. Firstly, since we are buying goods, so purchases are increasing. Purchase of goods, purchase of goods is what? Purchase of goods is an expense, right? Everyone, purchase of goods is an expense. So our expenses are increasing, and we are paying for it by cash. So our cash will reduce. Cash is what? Cash is an asset, so our asset is reducing. Is that clear, everyone? So, what about trade discount? There is no effect of trade discount upon the business. So, we will simply pass the general entry as. Anybody want to help me? What will be the general entry for 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 this transaction? Sir, will it be like purchase account debit to cash account? Purchase account debit to cash account. Purchase account debit to cash account. Right. Purchase account debit to cash account. Any one of you, please tell me the value I should write. Twenty thousand of goods at a trade discount of fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of twenty thousand is how much, everyone? Three thousand, right? So that means we have got a good at rupees seventeen thousand only. So purchase account will be debited by seventeen thousand, as well as the cash account will be debited by credited by seventeen thousand, and we'll write we'll write down the relation as being goods purchased. At discount of fifteen percent. <laughs> Is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Hmm, that's right. Okay. So moving on to the next transaction. Transaction third: purchase goods of list price thirty thousand from 
अमन एट अ ट्रेड डिस्काउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट अमृत सॉरी वी हैव परचेज गुड्स ऑफ थर्टी थाउजेंड फ्रॉम अमृत एट अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट टेल मी एनी वन वट विल बी दिनरल एंट्री फॉर दिस क्रेडिटिंग कैश अकाउंट is it not it is not written anywhere in the question that amrit is paying by cash see i have told you in the previous class as well whenever question says that we are buying goods and the name of the seller is given that means we will always presume that we are buying goods on credit right we must have bought goods on credit is it clear to you so what is happening in this transaction in the third transaction when we are buying goods So first of all, our expenses are increasing. Purchase of goods, purchase of goods is what? Purchase of goods is an expense. It is an expense. Expenses are increasing. Number one. Number two, since we are buying it from the Amrit, right? Amrit is who? Amrit is a seller. And since the name of the seller is given, we will presume that we must have bought the goods on credit, right? Amrit is a creditor. Amrit is a creditor since he is providing us goods on credit. So credit, our creditor are increasing or decreasing. Tell me, our creditor is increasing or decreasing? Creditors are increasing, na? And creditors are what? Creditors are liability or asset? Tell me quickly. Liability. Creditors liability. liability. Is correct. Now tell me the rule. Rule says whenever expenses increases, we need to debit the expense account. What about the liabilities? Liabilities increasing in this case, yes or no? Creditors yes. are increasing, yes or no? Yes. And since the creditor is increasing, what is what does the rule says? Whenever creditor increases, we need to credit, credit, credit it. it. Correct. Correct. So now we will pass the general entry. Correct general entry for this will be as usual purchase account debit. Purchase account debit. To, to, creditor account. That means Amrit account. Amrit account, right? And let me check the value. Value was thirty thousand at a twenty percent trade discount. That means twenty four thousand. Got it, everyone. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. You you are not required to write down these details. If you just want to pass the general entry, you can that you can do that as uh, that too. But if you want to write down the detail how it is affecting the business, then you can write this as well. It will it will help you. Anyways, moving on to the fourth transaction. In the fourth transaction, it says <coughs> purchase goods of less price forty thousand for rupees thirty five thousand for cash. Tell me, what will be the general entry for this? Anyone? Now, will it be like purchase account that you put to cash account? Mm -hmm. Purchase to cash account. Yes, that is right. Purchase to cash account. That is correct. The fourth transaction, since we are buying goods again, purchase of goods will again be considered as an expense. Expenses are increasing, right? And on the other hand, since we are buying it from buying it on cash, our cash are decreasing. That means asset are decreasing. 
So the journal entry for this will be again purchase account debit. Purchase account debit to cash account. Um, Does am I audible to everyone? Yes or no? Yes, sir. I think there's some problem with my network. Okay. Suddenly got locked out. Okay, anyways. So oh uh, yeah. Just just confirm if this journal entry is clear to all of you or not. Laviba Ruthika Vanisha. Yes, clear. Ruthika and Vanisha, is this clear to you? Hmm. All right. Then moving on to the next transaction, transaction number five. It says goods returned of uh, goods returned of list price ten thousand purchased from Amrit. We earlier we have purchased goods from Amrit. Now now we are returning goods to Amrit. Right. So when when we will return the goods back to Amrit. Is it going to affect the? Let me show, show you how it is going to affect the. How is it going to affect the business? Firstly, fifth transaction. See, firstly, because we are returning goods to Amrit, so our liability towards Amrit will fall. It will reduce, right? Liability. Amrit is Amrit is who Amrit is a creditor, right? Amrit is our creditor, and since we are returning the goods, so the liability towards Amrit will reduce. Yes or no? Liability will reduce. Yes, liability will reduce because we are returning goods of ten thousand. So liability will reduce by ten thousand, right? And on the other hand, purchase we are returning the goods that we have purchased. So purchase return is a kind of kind of gain, right? Just like purchase purchase is a kind of expense. So purchase return is what? Purchase return is a kind of gain. Purchase return is kind of gain. So if it is if we are treating it as a kind of gain, what will happen when gain increases? Tell me, gain purchase return is of ten thousand, right? Just like purchase is treated as an expense, purchase return is treated as an as a gain. So the rule regarding the liability says whenever liability reduces, we should debit the liability account. On the other hand, whenever gain increases, whenever there is gain, we need to credit the gain account. Right? Is this correct? Yes, sir. So the general yes, entry sir. for this purpose will be purchase account debit. Right? Purchase account. Sorry, not purchase account debit. I'm sorry. Uh, Amrit account debit. Right to to purchase return account. Purchase return. Right, everybody. Ten thousand to um debited to Amrit and debited credited to ten thousand purchase return. I hope this is clear to all of you. <coughs> Okay, then the next transaction. Next transaction. Okay, we did first, second, third, fourth, fifth. 
Next is six transactions sold goods to Parul of list price of forty thousand at a trade discount against check payment. Right, we have sold goods to Parul. The list price is forty thousand, but we have given him a given her a discount of ten percent. So the general entry in this case will be anybody. Let me explain this. Let me explain the effect of this transaction. Firstly, since we are selling goods, right? Sale of sir, goods is what? Sale of. The bank account debit to sales account. Bank account debit to sales account. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, let me explain the effect of this transaction. See, sales of sales of goods is what? Sales of just just like purchase of goods is an expense. Sale of goods is a revenue. It is a kind of. Revenue. Mm. All right. So revenue is increasing or decreasing when we sell gold. Revenue will increase or decrease. It will increase, right? And sale of goods. We are selling goods on, and and the payment is received. Payment is being received by check. So now tell me, if we will receive the payment by check, does it going to affect the bank balance? Yes or no? Yes, bank will bank balance will increase or decrease? Increase. Decrease. Decrease. When we will receive check, the bank balance will increase. Yeah, decrease? increase. Increase. Check increase. Increase. Check is going to increase the overall bank balance. So bank will increase. Now, pay attention and try to answer. Bank is what? Bank is an asset. So the rule of asset says whenever asset increases. We need to debit the asset account. Is that right? And whenever revenue increases, we need to credit the revenue account. Is that correct? Right. Now we will we can pass the general entry. Since bank is increasing, we'll write down bank account debit to to tell me sales account. Is that right? Sales account. And what will be the value? The value will be thirty six thousand, right? Because we have given him a discount as well, na. Forty thousand of goods was sold on a trade discount of ten percent. That means we have given him a discount of four thousand. So the total collection will be thirty six thousand only. Thirty six thousand and thirty six thousand. Got it, everybody. Is this is this clear to all of you? Yes or no? <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now moving on to the next transaction, seventh one. In the seventh transaction, it says, "Sold goods to Aman of list price of thirty thousand <laughs> at a trade discount against cash." Guys, I want you to try this. This uh, the general entry of the seventh one. Apart from Labiba, I want Labiba. Apart from Labiba, someone else. I want the answer from someone else. Yeah, seven, seven. Anybody going to tell me the answer? The cash account debit to sales account. Cash account debit to sales account. That's right. Perfect. Very good. And the value will be twenty-seven thousand. Correct. Cash account debit twenty-seven thousand to. Sales account twenty seven thousand. Everybody understood this. Anybody need explanation to this journal entry? No, sir. No. Okay. Eight one. 
in the eighth transaction it says sold goods to pavan of list price 20000 at a trade discount <laughs> this time we are selling goods to pavan and since the name of the consumer name of the consumer is given it is written here that means we must have sold goods to pavan on credit so whenever you sell goods on credit there is an increase in the value of the asset and that asset will be known as <laughs> tell me anybody please tell me when we sell goods on credit which asset increases anyway yes, sold yes. goods on no i'm talking about asset which asset increases sold goods on credit first of all since we have sold goods so our overall revenue will increase right revenue will increase yes or no the revenue will increase yes sir yes sir but at the same time we have sold goods to to pavan at uh, we must have sold goods to pavan on credit so whenever you sell goods to anyone on credit that person is known as the debtor debtor is an asset right whenever you sell goods to customer on credit that is that customer is considered as the asset for the business so when you will sell goods to any person on credit our overall asset will increase in the by the name of debtor right could anyone please tell me the general entry of this this transaction general entry will be Yes, very good. Pavan account debit to sales account. <laughs> And the value will be will be uh twenty thousand at ten percent discount. That means eighteen thousand, right? everybody is it clear to all of you yes or no <clears throat> okay ninth next transaction it says Sold goods to Yamini of list price twenty five thousand for twenty three thousand. Now see, there is it. The, we are selling goods at a discount of two thousand again, right? We are selling goods at a discount of two thousand, right? But the thing is, <coughs> yes, yeah. This time the trade discount is not mentioned here. so we will presume that there is a trade discount of 2000 <clears throat> i'm presuming that there is a trade discount of 2000 given to yamini trade discount of 2000 right so when you will sell goods to yamini since the name of the buyer is written here name of the customer is written that means we must have sold goods to yamini at a <laughs> Uh, so we must have sold goods to Yamini on credit, right? So the general entry in this case will be anybody. Please tell me the general entry. Yamini account to sales. Yamini account debit to sales account. That's right. Yamini account debit to sales account, and the amount will be twenty three thousand. next transaction next transaction says sold goods costing 10000 at a cost plus 20% less trade discount to bhupesh <laughs> now tell me the general entry for this this is comparatively a difficult difficult one
see since the name of the buyer is also written in the question so that means we will presume that the goods must have been sold to bhupesh on credit right <laughs> so the problem is that it at what price we should pass the general entry see you need to understand we are selling the goods of rupees 50000 right goods the cost of which is 10000 sorry goods of the, uh, the goods the price of which is 10000 we are selling this goods at a cost plus 20% that means we will add 20% in it first of all so when you will add 20% this will become 12000 is that correct for it everyone and then you will give him a straight discount of 10% so 10% of 12 12000 is 1200 subtracting 10% out of 12000 will be 10800 <laughs> so this is the final price at which we have sold goods to bhupesh got it is it clear to everybody everybody or no yes okay let me explain this one more time see what's happening in the question says we have sold goods so first of all the co cost price of the goods is we will assume that the price that is given in the question is the cost price of the good cost price of goods equal to 10000 then we will add 20% 20% so 20% of this will be sorry 2000 right and this will be 12000 after adding it and then we will give him a discount of 10% Ten percent trade discount. Ten percent trade discount will be twelve hundred, and this will be the final amount. Sale price will be ten thousand eight hundred, and we need to pass the general entry at this price. Ten thousand eight hundred, and the general entry will be. Since we have sold goods to Bhupesh on credit, and name of the customer is mentioned in the question, that means we will we must have sold goods to Bhupesh on credit. So we'll write down the general entry as Bhupesh account debit. Why Bhupesh account debit? Because Bhupesh is our debtor. Debtor account is always debited. That Bhupesh account debit <laughs> to sales account ten thousand. Eight hundred, one thousand eight. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Please note this down quickly. <laughs> Just let me know whenever you are done. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's talk about the eleventh one. Now this seems a little complicated. It says that X. Sorry. Sold goods purchased at a less price of rupees fifty thousand less fifteen percent trade discount. so this is the information of the goods that we have purchased at the time of purchase the, the goods that we purchased was that 50% 50000 on which we 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 have got a discount of 15% from the seller now we are selling the same good at a price at a profit of 25% and on that good we are allowing a customer a 10% trade discount right you need to tell me the selling price of the good 
Got it, everyone? You, in this question, you need to find out the selling price. At what price we are selling the goods to the customer against the check? You need to find out the selling price of the well uh, of the goods. Quickly, do it now. I'm waiting for your answers. Apart from Laviva, I want the answer from everyone else. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, once you are once you are done, let me know the answer. Yes, sir. Um, bank account debit to sales account. Uh huh. Uh, first is eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. You just need to pass the general entry for the sale of goods, na? Bank account debit to sales account, right? What will be the selling price? Is eleven thousand is the selling price you have got? I didn't miss it, sir. Yes, because your uh, value is not right. Everybody trying? Zana, Vanisha, Labiba, you are also trying. Yes, sir. Solve it quickly. Done, everyone.
Anyways, let I think I'll have to show you the solution of this because you are taking a lot of time. See, this is how we will calculate it. The final value will be four seven eight one two point five. See, let me explain it how uh, how did I calculate it. See, first of all, the listed price of the good that we have bought is at fifty thousand, right? And the discount that we received from the seller is seventy five hundred. That means the cost of the cost price of the goods is forty two thousand five hundred. Is this is this clear, everybody? Till this point, is everything clear? Listed price of the goods was fifty thousand. And at the time of purchase, we received a discount discount of fifteen percent. That means ultimately, the cost price of the goods for us is forty two thousand five hundred, on which we have charged a twenty five percent of profit, twenty five percent of forty two thousand five hundred, twenty five percent on this value <laughs> will be ten thousand six twenty five, and after adding this, you will get the five. You will get this value five three one two five. After adding the profit of twenty five percent, the final value will be five three one two five. Got it? And on this price, we are allowing trade discount allowed to our customer. We have allowed we have allowed a trade discount to customer at ten percent of this value. Ten percent of this value is five three one two point five, five thousand three hundred and twelve point five rupees. And since it is a discount, so we will subtract it, and after subtracting it, we will get the final selling price four seven eight one two point five. I hope this is clear, everybody. Please confirm if it is not. Yes, sir. Ritika, Labiba, Zainab, tell me is this cal calculation clear? Yes, sir. Labiba, is this clear to you? Zainab, this is clear to you? Yes, sir. Sir, can you explain once more? I'm confused. You're confused, okay? Yeah. See, you will have to first of all read the question carefully. In the question, it says that sold goods purchased at a listed price of fifty thousand less fifteen percent discount. That means the goods that we are selling were purchased at rupees fifteen percent less trade discount of fifteen percent, fifty thousand less fifteen percent. So first of all, we will have to determine the We will have to determine the just a minute. Somehow everything got deleted. I don't know why. Okay, I think I'll have to do it one more time since by mistake I I just deleted everything. See, firstly we have bought goods at fifty thousand, and on this price we have got a discount of ten percent, right? Sorry, not ten percent, fifteen percent. So fifteen percent of fifty thousand is how much? It is seventy five hundred, right? And that means we have purchased the goods at forty two thousand five hundred. This is the cost price of the goods that we purchased. Cost price, right? And we are selling the same good by charging a twenty five percent profit upon it. So twenty five percent of forty two thousand five hundred is how much? Forty two thousand five hundred into Into twenty five percent will be one zero six two five. This is one zero six two five. We will add this value to it, and after adding it, we will get one zero six two five plus four two five. This is the listed price for five three one two five. Five three one two five. Now we are also allowing our customer a ten percent trade discount. So after subtracting ten percent, ten percent of five three one two one two five will be five thousand three hundred twelve point five. And after subtracting it, we will get the final selling price that will be four seven eight one two point five zero. Four seven eight one two point five. Is it clear now, Labiba? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we can pass the general entry. The general entry will be, tell me, bank account debit to sales account. Is that correct? Bank yes, account sir. Bank account debit to sales account. 
and you can write down this amount. Amount will be four seven one eight four seven eight one two point five and four seven eight one two point five again. This will be the general entry for this transaction. I hope this is clear to all of you. I want you to write it down quickly. Let me know whenever you are done. Then we will move to the last transaction. Done. Done, sir. Done. Okay. Last transaction. One last transaction. Aman returned goods of list price ten thousand, sold to him at ten percent trade discount. So the goods that uh, we that we have sold to Aman, he is returning those goods. We have earlier sold goods to Aman at a ten percent trade discount. So that means the goods of rupees ten thousand must have been sold at a ten percent trade discount. So that means it must have been sold at rupees nine thousand, right? This must have been sold at rupees nine thousand. So the general entry for this will be any any anybody want to tell me the correct general entry for this? General entry will be firstly since since yeah, goods is. Sales return account debited to Aman account. Hmm. Yeah. See, Aman is who? Aman is our debtor, right? We have already sold goods to Aman on credit, so Aman is our debtor, right? And when Aman will return goods, our debtor will reduce. And whenever debtor reduces, we need to credit the debtor account or the Aman account. At the same time, sales is a revenue, right? Therefore, sales return is a Tell me, sales return will be treated as what? It is an expense, liability, capital, or what? Just like sales is a revenue, then sales return will be treated as what? Yes, it will be treated as an expense. It will be treated as an expense. So when when sales return is taking place, that means our expenses are increasing. Or you can also treat it like a loss, just like sales is a revenue, sales return is a kind of loss. So whenever loss increases, what do we do? We debit the loss account. So for for this purpose, the general entry will be sales return account debit to Aman account. Right, everyone. Is this clear? And the value will be the amount will be nine thousand. Why nine thousand? Because we have sold goods to Aman at that free discount of ten percent. So he must the the value of goods that is returning is also will will also be recorded at nine thousand only. Tell me if this point is clear to everyone. The transaction eleventh is clear. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So this is all about this question. Uh, okay. So I think we are already out of time. So I'll have to give you one question for your homework now. Okay. Take this screenshot of this question quickly, and make sure you solve this question this time. Because only then we will be able to cover the remaining part of the chapter, na. You have to cover. You have to do the homework. So this is your homework. Kindly take this screenshot of this, please. Done, sir. Done. Uh, let me check if I have any other question to give you as homework. All right. So this is it. Uh, I'm just giving you one question for homework. Nothing more. Make sure you just complete it before attending the next class, right? So this is it. 
for today's class guys thank you so much for attending the session if you have any doubt ritika when